welcome back to my channel. This is Modesty33 here, AKA Crystal with a C. Back at you with another video, but if you're new to my channel, you just happen to click on welcome, welcome, welcome. I put out review videos, reactions, sit downs, vlogs. So if you um, check out my prior videos and if you see anything you like, before you leave, make sure you subscribe, you guys. So you guys, it's been a long time actually since I filmed. I have been putting out videos, but it's just been really, really busy. I'm certain a lot of you are busy with the holiday season um, and Christmas coming up and New Year's. Yeah, I'm not busy because of any of that. I'm just busy just because. So, <laughs> you know, I have nothing to do with Christmas or New Year's. It just happened to fall around for me like a very, things just started picking up. So I really haven't filmed. Um, and then plus I'm getting over a sickness over the past week. So I lost my voice and I'm just starting to kind of get it back. So thought I would film today. Um, you know, just because I felt like filming, I hadn't talked to you guys in a minute and I really wanted to put out some videos, but again, since I barely had a voice, I thought it would have been really that much entertaining. So, um, but you guys, I wanted to do part two of my purple persuasion. So I did part one, um, some time ago and I reviewed an item that I have that is purple. And so basically part two of purple persuasion, I'm just going to talk about what I'm wearing, the things that I have that are purple. Purple is my favorite color of the moment right now. So um, I did want to talk about some of the purple items I have and then do a review of two items that I have that aren't necessarily purple, but they're in a purple case. So we're going to call them purple. So um, if you guys um, enjoy this video, make sure you do um, give it a thumbs up and like it. So before you leave. So um, again, you guys, I'm going to be just kind of going down the line of the purple items that I'm currently wearing. And then we're going to get on to the review. So first off, I'm going to start with my lips. So I actually um, have two different things on my lips. The first one that I put on is a tried and true and it's a favorite. It is the Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Lip Balm. And this is in the color 006, which is berry. So I have this under this lipstick. So this is not this, you know, I just want to let you know if you go by this color um, lip balm reviver, it's not going to look like this when you put on your lips. So I do have a lipstick over that and I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, I've talked about this in multiple videos this year. Um, maybe, no, it wasn't last year because I just started using these um, Dior lip products this year. But definitely when I do my favorites year and favorites video, this is... Spoiler alert, this is going to be one of my year-end favorites. I love these Dior Lip Glows. I've, I have um, two of them now. I've gone through two of them, I think. So I've gone through like, you know, I've had four this year. But I highly, highly recommend them. One of my favorite Dior items that I have. And this is what it looks like if you open it up. And I've been using this one. So it's very moisturizing, not greasy at all. It's good under your lip products, I would say. Um, especially like for liquid lip products. So um, it doesn't really have, it, it, it really depends on your lip color as far as how it's going to look on your lips. And I'm told that these do, they're like temperature. They react to the temperature of your lips as far as the pigmentation. So that's really cool too. These retail, I think for like $34, $36, I think at Sephora. I could be wrong on that. So don't quote me. But um, yeah, you I, you can pick these up from Sephora. That's where I pick mine up from. So that's the first item. The second item is another one that I actually haven't used in a while, but I really want to pull it out today. Um, I do love my purple lip products, but this is from NARS. And this is the, what is a, what do they call it? The official name. This is the Power Mat because I like to say the whole name because I don't want to, again, be messing stuff up. So this is the Power Mat Lip Pigment in the color London Calling. So this is the color right here, and this is what I'm wearing on my lips today. To get a little bit closer, you guys can see. So, and it is kind of overcast, so the lighting is not the best, you guys. But this is what London Calling looks like. I'll go ahead and do a quick swatch for you guys. This is like a very runny kind of formula, so you probably can't hear that. But if you shake it up, you can actually hear it. So it's very liquidy. Um, and so this is kind of what it looks like out of the tube. When I swatch it, very pretty color. And it actually dries down a bit darker than it goes on. So this is the color London Calling. So again, this is what I have on over that Dior um, Berry Color Lip Balm. 
So my lips feel really, really good. So even without the Dior though, like I don't find this to be very drying to the lips and it definitely lasts a long time, especially like to me, most colors that I get that are highly pigmented um, or that are darker colors, I'll just say that, that are darker colors, like your reds and berries and plums, I feel like those last longer than some of your lighter colors or nude colors. So um, I do like these colors for the, that reason, especially I have like one, um, another NARS Power Matte color that's like a red and that one definitely lasts like all day. Um, you have to literally get like oil to take that one off. So this one definitely has good longevity. I highly recommend these. I think this retails for maybe $26, $28. Yeah, I didn't look at the prices before I started filming because I was so anxious and happy about filming. So um, I'll leave whatever details I can find below in the description box. But yeah, you can go to Sephora and check these out. I highly recommend this as well, especially if you find like different colors that you like. But again, I love purple, so you know. I'm inclined to it. The next item I'm gonna talk about is what I'm wearing right here. This is actually a scarf, but um, and it's wrapped around twice. And let me take this off, you guys can see. It's quite long, actually. Um, you guys, I did not buy this. I actually made this. Go me. This was some years ago. I've had this scarf for quite a few years. And um, you guys, you'd probably be surprised well, maybe not. Some of you, maybe not. But, um, yeah, I did make this. It's very, very long. Let me stand up. You guys can kind of see it goes all the way down. I can't really show the totality of it. But um, I made this with a method called arm knitting, which I've, I actually learned about on YouTube when I was like, Years ago when I was getting back into knitting and crocheting, yes, I did knit and crochet in college and it was my life and my livelihood in the best days of my life. So I did get into back into knitting and crocheting like three or four years ago um, once we start doing it for one of our women's ministries. And so I did go on YouTube and I learned about a method called arm knitting. So I actually, it's kind of like, you know, with knitting, you have the two needles and you go back and forth between the needles. With arm knitting, it's like going back and forth between one arm to the other. So that was really fun to do. I've done two of these. Well, actually, I've done three of these scarves and I gave one to a friend that was also purple. So I have a, this purple one and I also have a black one. I love this purple one better, though. I just feel like it's softer than the black one. And then the black one was kind of like my trial. So it's not as nice to me as this one. But yeah, this is a method again called arm knitting. If you're interested and you are a knitter or you're interested in crafts, definitely look it up on YouTube. I've had this for years and it has served me well. So this is what I wore out today. So I'm gonna take that off. You guys can see it. So yep, learn something new. Go on YouTube and learn how to arm knit. A fun pastime. So the next item I'm gonna talk about is this t-shirt here. And this is probably one of my favorite t-shirts. I just find it to be very flattering. I don't know. I just love the color and the pattern of it. But um, this, let me, let me kind of come up. This is kind of what it looks like on. And it goes like kind of, yeah, as far as the length of it. Um, as far as the front of it, you do have like this little nice pattern with the button up. And it is like a short sleeve shirt here. I really just love the collar of it. Um, and I got this shirt from New York and Company a few years ago, probably two or three years ago. And I did, that was when I like pretty much lived in New York and Company every other week. So um, yeah, I did get this particular shirt. I love this shirt, it is one of my favorites. Cause it's like a plum color. So it's just really pretty to me, especially it's very pretty with a lot of my lipstick. So. Um, I love, love the shirt. I really love the fit of it. So um, if you love New York and Company or you're interested in kind of checking out some of their shirts, I definitely highly recommend it. Most of my wardrobe probably is from New York and Company. And now I'm kind of intermingling some things from American Eagle. So yeah, that's kind of, those are kind of my stories right now as far as like clothing and when I need to get something, I'm going to go probably New York and Company first. Um, and then maybe the American Eagle or JCPenney. Those are kind of my three stores. So yeah, you guys, that is pretty much um, all of the purple items that I wore today. So let's talk about 
a few of the items I want to review. So this is kind of going to be, this is going to be some of my tech items that I've purchased this year that I told you guys I was going to do a review on and I did not forget about it. But, you know, of course, other things and other priorities came up. So let me talk about the first one. This right here is my Kindle Paperwhite. And um, I purchased this, I want to say February or March, maybe. Maybe in February or March, I feel like. Because this year, one of my goals um, on my vision board for 2018 was to like read a book. And so um, I know my best friend, she has a paper white, but um, she had a, she had like, she had just bought a paper white and she had an, an old Kindle. So she let me get that Kindle and try it out and see how I liked it. And so I just started kind of like reading some books on there. So proud to say that I did meet my goal of reading a book, but I also read about three or four different books this year. And I'm in the process of reading another I have two on here saved that I need to read. Plus I have a paper book I need to read. So I haven't been as diligent about reading, but I've just been kind of getting back into it just because again, I've just been busy doing other stuff I really probably don't need to be doing. But this is my Kindle Paperwhite. This is what it looks like. I got it in the color black and I got this case also from Amazon. I think the case retail for like $30, $35, something like that. And then the Kindle Paperwhite at the time, because I was a temporary Prime member to get the discount on this Kindle Paperwhite. So if you think that Kindles are too expensive, they really aren't. Um, this retailed when I got it from Amazon, being a Prime member briefly for $79.99. So definitely catch a good deal um, on these Kindle Paperwhites if you know, you don't necessarily want to have, like, if you're not a person where you're really bothered with paper books, I know some people are like that. They really love the touch of pages and the smell of books. If you're not bothered by that and you are trying to save space, um, definitely I would highly recommend a Kindle Paper White. It's really good. And I love this one, especially because this one, um, let me show you. So like this is a portion of a book I'm reading now, but like if it, um, I got this particular book to, or this particular Kindle paper white as well, because there are different kinds. And so this one actually has a backlight. So when it's dark, you can still read. So it still has that lighting with it. And I got this particular one because, you know, it wasn't too much more than the regular Kindle paper white. Um, I think the regular one is like, it was $59.99 through Amazon. So again, not expensive at all, just for the regular one. But this one has the backlighting where again, you can read in the dark and my room is kind of darkly lit. So just thought that that would be really good too. So um, yeah, I use this quite a bit and I'm still using it now. I try to read a little bit. I'm trying to finish this book. Um, I don't even know what the book is called, you guys, but it's like the third one in a series that I'm reading. So I'm trying to finish this book, but um, yeah, I really love this Kindle Paperwhite. It's just really good to unwind in quiet time. And then I find that too, which most people find, I would say that when you read more, your vocabulary vastly increases. So you learn new words and all of that. So I definitely was enjoying that when I was reading. So that's why I've been trying to get back into it to increase my vocabulary and to continue learning. So yeah, I highly recommend the Kindle Paperwhite. Again, especially if you can get it on a prime deal, $79.99 is not expensive. Like, you know, for Christmas, birthday, Valentine's Day, um, you know, boo, I know you cute, but, but read a little bit, you know, increase your mind. So, you know, good, good little gift for somebody. So I um, highly recommend it. Um, I have, again, read two or three different books on here. This is the case. It's very sturdy. So um, it's one of those kind of like an iPad, you know, where you, you open it and it, you know, shows you. Um, yeah, it kind of goes to the, the um, screensaver. That's what I was trying to say. And then when you close it, you know, it shuts it. Yeah, it, it's not operational. So I really like this case. It's very sturdy and don't really have a lot of scratches on it thus far. So I did get the case and the paper white at the same time. And again, highly recommend this. Um, I'll try to put the details below from what I can remember. But again, I purchased this, I wanna say February or March maybe, maybe actually around the time of March or April. But um, it was whenever they had a sale for um, Amazon Prime members and I signed up for Prime and then I went ahead and purchased this. 
So if you're a Prime member, definitely no excuse. You need to go ahead and get you a paper white if you um, love to read or you want to get into reading. I highly recommend that. I know a lot of people do audiobooks. I don't think I have the attention span to do an audiobook personally. Because if I do an audiobook, I'm going to do 30 different other things and I'm not going to remember what I heard. So I have to, yeah, I have to actually read it personally. So yeah, I highly recommend, again, the Kindle Paperwhite. It lasts for so long as far as like one single charge. So I rarely have to charge the Kindle Paperwhite. Um, if I don't use it for a while, of course, the battery is going to die. I'm going to have to charge it, but it does not take a very long time to charge at all. So I really love that about that, about the Paperwhite as well. And it fits in a good bit of my bags, you know, talking about it again. So I really love that about it as well. It's not too cumbersome as far as the, you know, the size of it. So love that. Next item you guys I'm going to talk about is my um, new iPod touch. So I got this particular iPod touch back in, I want to say May as well. <laughs> May, um, I think, yeah, probably beginning of May, I got this iPod touch and it is in this beautiful purple case that I got after I did get the iPod. I got this case from I want to say Amazon as well because Amazon just be you know life they're, they're just life they have the best things so this is the iPod touch I believe this is a 256 gigabyte so I did purchase this one um again back in May after my prior iPod met its unfortunate end <laughs> in my Neverfull when I was like, basically, you know, the little pocket in the Neverfull, if you have a Neverfull, a Louis Vuitton Neverfull, um, or, you know, it, it doesn't matter the bag, but if you have, you know, certain items in a pocket, in a bag, like I had my wet wipes, um, my alcohol wet wipes in the bag, and then my iPod touch was in the bag. And like my wet wipes were open, give you the brief story. My wipes were open and then liquid got inside my iPod touch and it just was not salvageable, which is fine. I had that iPod touch for seven years. So it wasn't really a horribly big deal when you think about cost per use. I did get a good bit of use out of it, but of course I wasn't in, you know, I wasn't in the market to buy another iPod touch, but it just kind of ended up that way. So I ended up getting this one and, um, yeah, um, I would say from using this one and comparing it to my old iPod Touch, I don't really see much of a difference, to be honest. But I don't use this for much more, again, than music. So as far as the difference, the difference really would be in capacity. Like this one definitely has a bigger capacity than my old iPod Touch. I think my old iPod Touch had maybe 126 or maybe maybe even less than that, maybe like 100 gigabytes. I don't actually recall, but this one has 256. So kind of my goal for this one was to like record videos and kind of do some different things, which I do have a video on here. I have my Dallas vlog that I have done editing, but every time I try to upload it, it tells me that YouTube will only accept 15 minute videos, which I know is not true. I'm uploading like novels and movies all the time on YouTube. So I don't know if it's just an issue with the iPod or what, but, um, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I'm, I'm going to hopefully figure that out in the upcoming week and hopefully upload that vlog for you guys so you guys can enjoy Dallas, Texas as much as I did. But um, one thing I would say about this iPod Touch that's very disappointing is the battery life. I feel like the battery drains so quickly, which is very, very disappointing. So if you were trying to get an iPod Touch and you're trying to listen to music for 12, 13, 14 hours, honey, you better have, you better have a good few charges on it. So... Um, I would say, yeah, that's the biggest negative for me of the new iPod Touch. I feel like maybe my old iPod Touch had more battery life than even this one, or maybe it was about the same. I don't know. But um, yeah, that's the only big thing. I feel like the camera quality is okay. I, it's probably a little bit better than my old iPod. But again, I don't use the camera and do a whole lot. So I, I can't really tell you for certain. I have my one video that I did you know, record for Dallas and I feel like that video quality was pretty good. So I would say the camera quality again is a bit better, but I don't know if it's really vastly better. So definitely to me, it's not as good as the quality on my phone per se. So, um, yeah, I really like this. Um, I recommend this if you like something separate from your phone, because if you use your phone for everything, 
Of course, it is going to drain the power and the phone is meant to be used to call out or communicate with people. You know what I'm saying? So um, I like to intermingle between my iPod or my um, iPad to watch videos or movies or what have you. I don't like to necessarily do all that on my phone because then my phone did and I can't call nobody on the iPod or on the iPad. I mean, you could, you know, do it through FaceTime or what have you. But yeah, you have to have the Wi-Fi to do that. So yeah, instead of, you know, having all that complication, I just rather have separate devices. So that's worked out for me thus far. So um, guys, that's pretty much it as far as my Purple Persuasion Part 2. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. But if you have any questions, make sure you comment below. Let me know. I'm happy to answer anything for you guys. Um, and I'll leave, again, as many details as I can below about those particular items. And if you enjoyed this video, again, make sure you give it a thumbs up, a like it, make sure you share it with anyone else who's interested in a Kindle Paperwhite or even in a new iPod Touch. Um, also, um, you guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. You do that by hitting that red button below and making sure you hit the bell next to it so you're notified when I do upload future videos. You guys, I really appreciate it. I really miss seeing you guys, or not seeing you, but talking to you anywhere, uploading videos, so, and recording anyway. So, you guys, I really appreciate it. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my very next one. Bye, guys.